for the Western Oval. Footscray trails by five points. And they go to the left of the screen, kicking with the aid of the breeze, and they get an immediate free kick for an infringement. Change at half-time, Bernie Quinlan for Footscray. There's Ballantyne off the ground. Doug Hawkins lining up at full forward and start of this third quarter. And they go towards Hawkins. Booming kick from Wine. Frawley's handball over to Morris. Had a good first quarter, struggled a bit in the second. Here's Harvey, who's been one of the big stars of the match so far. Two centre wing and Pekin. Had a lot of possessions, Harvey. At 12 and 7, Pekin a short one. Allen and Tui. Tui just runs him underneath it. Atkins, who worked very hard early. And uh, with 12 and 3 in the first half and a very hard knock. So 6 5 to 6 10. The big goal kicker so far, Hawkins 3. And 2 to Clark for St Kilda. Lockett just 1 goal 3 so far. Wine. Punches it forward about to 5 or 6 metres. Now Ford's come off for a St Kilda and Fletcher's on. Early move there, just to get the balance right. Boundary throw in, centre wing on this uh, member side. Wine, Colinute running onto it, bounces good for him. Corcoran, pass into the forward line. Hawkins tries to tap it to the advantage of Grant. Grant somehow gets into the action. Still underneath, away to Charles. In turn to Coleman, wider still and gives away ground. Tallett. From just inside 50, Kellett bombs away and kicks a magnificent goal. Great goal there by Nigel Kellett. So Fitzgerald back good. in front, Robbo, by a point. A very good hand pass there coming from Glenn Coleman. Good play also from Dougie Hawkins. He knew he was in trouble on the lead. Could not take the mark, but forced it back into the corridor area. And Coleman was always in trouble but got the long hand pass out to Nigel Keller. The Footscray lead by a point. They've scored the first goal of the third quarter. Baxter, oh, taken to the ground by Flanagan was crude. Play goes on. The ball at full forward for Footscray. Morris is quickly back. No one to kick it to? Yes, there is. Winmar's on his own at half back. Bounces Kine, shrugs the tackle, round onto that favoured right foot. Kicks it 40 metres, up towards half forward, no mark taken. Fletcher at the back, able to get the hand pass away. Newport, little bit of space, and then kicks it across his body and finds Flanagan. Wide of centre half forward, why did he run on? He can't kick with the right, let alone the left, and the kick was smothered. Back away to Newport, he's forced to kick quickly, and again gives away ground, but has Winmar just forward of the centre. He's kicking to the pocket. Two St Kilda players on their own. One is Allen. He's allowed to mark and play on. Kicks it to the front of the goals. Lockett can't mark. The ball at the back now. Wine with strength. Wallace. Short pass and Footscray out of trouble. Walker and marks at half back. Centre wing. Charles on a long lead. Tried to half volley it. Couldn't. Colin Newt. Baxter. Corcoran says leave it. I'll take it. Charles tries to help out. Now McPherson, well done McPherson, and the kick to Colinick. Hawkins leads, Colinick kicks towards him, and at the half, take it, Dougie, you do something clever, like handball to Colinick, who goes over the top to Smith, who kicks the goal. 8-5, 6-10, the stands are starting to shake here at the Western Oval. It's all right, Bruce, that's a very good start by Fitzgray in this third quarter. Not five minutes into the term, and yet Fitzgerald picked two early goals, combining very well. Not a good kick initially from Steve Collinwood, but he ran on. And good team play, not selfish play. They're looking for their teammates and setting up the easy goal in the end. Gray by seven points. Just noticed Hawkins limping a little bit up at full forward, but uh, now just running it out a little bit as Winmar, the opposite number seven, kicks it towards half forward. Foster falls over. Clark. In there is Fletcher. He was going nowhere. Think he's really right holding. I think the computer really needs something out of Lockett and Lowe. The two major contributors. 
as far as uh, marking power goes on that forward line. They've been held pretty well by Foster and Campbell with the assistance of the rest of the defenders and some of the Ruckman falling down. Low only three marks for the match, which uh, is pretty low for him after last week taking 16. Wallace from half-back kicks it back in towards the centre. Colonuk overruns it. Craven. Chance for Coleman. Somehow got the ball to Atkins. Atkins, that kick is pretty good. In towards Fulford. Well done. Devin Port back himself. A little fortunate with the bounce and the kick. Falls under the, into the arms of Greg. Well, what happened there? Why wasn't he allowed to play on uh, Because Winmar was holding the other player out of Yes, Winmar was shepherding the player on the mark. Still it goes on. He's given it to the same guy, Flanagan. Handball wider. Craven. Inside 50. Goes for goal. Danny Craven. No, back there is Ryan. And marks in the goal square. And confidently plays on if you don't mind. Back in towards the centre. Mark is taken by Greg. Not a bad kick from Scott Wines. Greg goes short, low the target, takes his fourth mark for the day. Lockett has just the two marks. So Bernie's point's a good one. Here's Lockett. Will he make it number three? He's got the chance. Campbell played it well. But Flanagan sits on it. Left foot shot for goal by Flanagan. His opposite number takes it in line. The give across to Tui. Has a bounce. Lockett will bear down on him. Tui runs away. Bangs at the centre wing. Smith and Dwyer. Do you like this, Smith? First time I've seen him, he's played very well. Kick to Atkins is a beauty. Coleman coming in late. What a good effort by David Grant. That was courage, wasn't it, Robbo? He looked out of the contest, somehow got back there. Charles takes it, so Grant's kick not so good. Kyle play on call, sweeps at the corner, and Hawkins wants it deep in the goals. Corcoran kicks it very well. Dougie's a chance. Well played, Devonport, because that's what Hawkins thrives on, those run-out situations. Terrific matches at late 6 to 6 10. It's a great contest and uh, well done, Devon Court, getting the fist of that ball. Certainly was. The kick in, David Grant away to Nathan Burke. Burke's kick out wide to the wing and Flanagan marks in front of Steve McPherson. Flanagan kicks it with the right in towards centre half forward. Allen, sweeping handball, must get it now. It's Greg. Greg's kicked the full foot, okay, Lockett, leading beautifully, gave Greg the target, and Lockett has marked about 35 to 40 metres out directly in front. He should kick this Bernie, shouldn't he? Yes, even with the breeze in, into his face, he shouldn't be worried by the distance here, Robbo. The burly full forward, kicks it and kicks it inaccurately. One goal four, I've got him down for. Yeah, one goal four is just a couple of it. You would normally put Tony Lockett down as uh, certainties. One in, especially in that second quarter from about 35 metres out. Gee, wouldn't Tony Campbell like to go home tonight and take his gloves off and think that he's only given away a goal? I guess he must take them off when he goes home. Straight down the second. Low at the back. Lipitore. Sweeps it to Wallace. Centre wing, not a good kick. Giving Coleman and Charles a little opportunity. Morris tucks it under the arm. Good, good kick. kick, yes. Free kick. kick to Clark. Fair enough against uh, Corcoran. Now Lockett and Lowe will be the, the guns you'd expect. Lowe provides the first lead. Tui chips in low over the back. Well played, Tui. Oh, little toy got a high one. No malice, I'm sure, from Lowe because uh, look at the difference in size. Now Tui to Wine, he's got to give it quickly, well played Winmar, she's a good player this Wine, bangs at the centre half, or into the centre, Charles at the back, Frawley, breaks the tackle, Colin Yip helps out, Harvey sidesteps, swings the handball to Flanagan, getting some touches, Flanagan goes to Greg, who should go to Lockett, he does, well played, they set it up like a game of chess didn't they? I think it was good unselfish play by Greg then. Could have really had a bit of a ping at them, couldn't it? Yes, the thing is with uh, Scotty Wine going down and helping out at full back, Flanagan is finding a lot of space yeah, in the middle of the ground. That's a good point, Bernie. Wine is valuable back there, but uh, Flanagan being a little bit creative. So Tony Lockett with one goal four, the champion full forward from just uh, 30 metres out. He's missed a couple today from a similar range. Leans over, drop punt. It again. Well, he's kicked five consecutive behinds. 
you just wouldn't read about it, would you? 8 6 to 6 12. Almost unbelievable. Tony Lockett, one of the most accurate full forwards in the game. Well, Campbell can breathe a sigh of relief because five goals won instead of one five would look embarrassing for him. But at this stage, he's taken the points. Oh, giving it out there was Harvey away to Atkins. Still the ball there to be won. Footscray under pressure at half back. Hunter slung off the ball. Greg, now the ball towards half forward for Footscray. St Kilda defence under pressure. Pekin goes down, caught it magnificently. Lovely vision. Here's a goal coming up for Footscray. They've got three on one. Grant unselfishly. Colin Newport domino eyes. And he puts it through. Two goals for Steve Colinuk. Footscray have done it pretty well so far in this third quarter. Yes, they have that. 12 point advantage now to Footscray. By no means a winning margin at this stage of the game. Colinuk putting that ball right out of the ground. Good unselfish play though there by Chris Grant. Had a bounce, drew the player out, popped it over the top, made certain of that goal. Nine, six, six, twelve. Some counter punching from Footscray here. Against the tide, they've been able to score a couple of very good goals. They've been exciting when they've gone forward. McPherson didn't do that very well. He should have taken it. Gets another chance from Liberatore. Another goal here would be handy. Oh, Atkins did it very well. Wonderfully, actually. And so did Colin Nick to Keller, who's given them something. Can go all the way. Drop punt. It's a chance. It'll go. And just miss. Well, they're on fire. 9 7 to 6 12. And I've got a feeling, Bernie, the next five or six minutes could tell the tale of this match. Yeah, this could be pretty good. Bruce Footscray with their tails up in the air at the moment. They're really running at the ball with flat out. Colin Hill gets lifted in this third quarter. Gee, Kellett's been good on that far wing, too. The kick in, heading towards Flanagan. It's punched back. Smith kicked across his body. He was pushed as he kicked it. And it will be a free kick to be taken for St Kilda and out there on that half-back flank it could be Russell Morris Morris who's got the impressive statistics 13 kicks and five hand passes kicks it high out towards the wing and Ryan is growing in stature with every season he has kicking towards half forward and a good mark taken by David Grant Gee, strong in those very, very difficult situations. And he's just courageous, isn't he? He My just throws word. himself in the air at the ball. Here's a chance for St Kilda. The ball at the back. Newport just taps it a little bit, which was good. Then he was tackled. So he'll take the free kick. But the little tap nearly gave it to Pekin. Newport has to go back and kick over the man on the mark, who was Atkins. Up towards half foot. Good mark taken at centre-half forward for St Kilda by Allen. A little bit too easy there too by Tim Allen. Must move it quickly. Short, effective, and Flanagan is marked. That's what I was getting to with uh, Scotty Wine. Really worrying about Tony Lockett. Flanagan's been able to drift down on a couple of occasions. Well, Flanagan's kicking from about 40 metres. St Kilda badly need a goal, and they may have got it. No. So they still struggle for that badly needed goal, the Saints, in this third term. They trail Footscray 61 to 49, 13 and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Campbell short. Hunter. Still very much in the uh, back line. Now out towards half back. Wallace left it. Foster was at the back. Here's Lowe. He's had a quiet one today. Great player that he is. Thumped on by uh, Allen. But uh, Winmar. Well, I guess has been the other champion has been held today. I think that was an important point, Bruce. He got away to a spectacular start, Nicky Winmar, but credit to Darren Baxter, who's cut him out in the last quarter and a half. Ryan tries to lay it down. Atkins can't get rid of it because Newport's got hold of him. And again, the umpires. 61 to 49. Fitzgerald have looked a little smoother when they've gone forward than St Kilda have had the bulk of the play. Wine, Hunter. Tui. Not a lot of kicks, but uh, done a reasonable job. What's happening here? It's coming he, back, is it? He's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Kicked, kicked it. So a throw in at half forward. Big crowd here today. It would be something in the vicinity of 25,000, and really a perfect day for football with a slight breeze favouring the left-hand side. Wine. Tui. 
Tapped close to the boundary line. Kellett just gets his foot to the ball. Goes towards the wing. No mark, no free kick. Gathering it, Flanagan. Handball over the top, Harvey. Round onto the left when you would have suspected that he would have gone right. And down goes Fletcher. Hunter, the tackler, ferociously. But Fletcher gets up pretty quickly. Too slow. Gives the chance for people to be covered. Now he goes for the pass. Newport's got no one on his mark. He can run on and kick it into the full forward area. Lockett's on a lead. He's got this one. But still, a decent kick to score. Yeah, it's probably too far. He's just trying to improve the angle there, Robert. The umpire will wake up to that, take him around on the mark. And he probably will be kicking from about 47, 48 metres. Still a tough assignment, kicking to that end of the ground. Well, it has been so far. He's kicked one goal, five. And he hasn't improved on his goal tally. Let's great punch it back. Chance for McPherson. Gets past Winmark. Short kick. Oh, what a good mark taken by Chris Grant. That battle has been fantastic by two very, very much ball players for their respective teams. Chris Grant to the centre wing. Morris uh, just got rid of Coleman. Atkins as it went to the ground. Coleman looked for a free kick, went for a dive. Newport. Atkins. Did he throw it? No. Kept it going. Here's uh, Corcoran. Should be a free kick. Not paid. Charles. Oh, has to be paid. Has, been, has to be paid. It's Tui, rather. Yeah, it's got to come back to him. All over the back of him. Open forward line. Hawkins is the target. Tui pops it up towards him. Dougie in. He holds it. Front spot. First grab. Had another one. He'd never been able to take that one. Yeah, yeah, Devin Foot was in perfect position as a defender to spoil that one. Hawkins stationary at the time. Here's a chance. There's a man on his own in the square. No, Dougie's going to go back and take a shot. You back him from here. I've been saying that about Lockett all day, but uh, I reckon Hawkins will be about fives on from here. Critical Ooh. kick. He's usually pretty reliable, Bruce. Oh, he's a magnificently skilled player. Let's see if he goes. He does. Four to Hawkins, 10 to Footscoe, 10 to 7 to 6, 13. Three goals going to coming to Doug Hawkins in that first quarter, another one in this third quarter, now playing at full forward. And maybe even I would uh, probably still play Frawley at full back because uh, he'd be a lot harder to kick goals on Devonport, probably never ever played there in his career. And yet uh, Frawley picking up, I suppose, the taller player in Justin Charles. Footscray have got an 18 point advantage with 10 minutes left in the third term and it's going to be uh, vital to St Kilda's chances first of all to stop Footscray from scoring any more goals but more importantly they've got to get one or two themselves in the remaining 10 minutes Flanagan short kick Newport oh Smith made him earn it but Newport gets up quickly and will kick St Kilda Maybe to within scoring distance. He gets under the drop punt kick up towards Lockett. And what a good mark in a pack of about four players. He just stood his ground and grabbed it. And from here, I felt wind come out of the foot. The big claws of Tony Lockett wrapped around that. This is Sharon Footy. This is a better angle to be coming at the goal face from. And this side of the ground where he missed that last one, very difficult. Probably a much better chance from here. 40. And I think he's missed again. You wouldn't believe it. The champion spearhead for St Kilda has kicked 1 6. Well, quite amazing, isn't it, Robbo? It usually put him down for at least 5 2 if he'd had seven shots of goal. Campbell. Wind in the front spot. Fletcher caught by Liberatore on the bottom of it. Gets a bit of time, he didn't use it. Coleman takes it well, well tackled though. Got rid of it, holding it. Play on call, Harvey takes off, goes towards Allen. Tui with him, it's been a good duel too. Allen and Tui, he's a left footer, remember that Bernie. Allen swings back, goes with a high one. Lockett won't quite get to this one. Campbell took a chance, Fletcher caught with a handball. Now Lockett, can he snap a goal? Box, steadies, goes, misses. One goal, seven for Big Tony. Well, he'd be getting frustrated now, I think. 
four behinds coming in the third quarter to Tony Lockett. 21 scoring shots to 17. Campbell looking reasonably satisfied, but obviously under a lot of stress back there. Fortunately for him, Lockett kicking inaccurately. Back towards centre half back. Foster's mark, allowed to play on. Delivers brilliantly to Coleman. Too easy. Away to Collinue. Backs himself. Handballs it over the top. Surely advantage will be paid now. Collinue runs on. Outside 50. Goes for goal. What's he done? Left it on the chest of Grant. A floating punt kick. And Grant is marked only metres out, but the angle will be pretty tight. Just about right on the boundary line, I would think Chris Grant. Well, they have a 16-point um, advantage. This could make it 22. Which may be difficult for St Kilda to bridge, even though they're coming home with a breeze at their back. Grant runs around and kicks a goal beautifully. Two goals for Grant. And Footscray lead by 22 points. And that the crowd love it out here at the Western Oval. And gone berserk. Good performance by Fitzgerald in this uh, third quarter. Steve Collin with the player that has it first. He's really lifted his game. And Chris Grant has kicked his second goal for the day. The biggest margin of the match, without doubt, at 73 to 51. Wine just sits and waits straight to Winmar. To centre half forward, Low and Foster. Wallace comes in from the side. Baxter, an unsung hero today. Kellett He's had a tremendous quarter. Set it up with that first goal on the run, didn't he, for Footscray? And it's been their turn. Up to half forward, David Grant and Chris Grant. Morris, she could tackle. Chris Grant looks for one, didn't get it. Play on called, Winmar. Still pressure on the Saints. Frawley sits, waits, gets caught. Liberatore should get a free kick, didn't, because Frawley was hanging on to him. When the ball went free there, he was very unlucky, Libertore. Yeah, well, spotted Bruce. It was a great tackle by Tony Libertore, as you would expect. And Danny Frawley held him, kept him around the neck, and kept him out of the contest. Well, a goal here, with Footscray with their tails up at 22 points in front, will be critical, Libertore. Hawkins behind, Devonport did it pretty well, though. Harvey got good tape. Got tremendous skill. Kept his call to Pekin, to Craven. Not a good kick. Missed though by Foster. Chance now for Dwyer. Hunter, under pressure. High one into the centre. Mark there. No, Pekin crashing his way through. Colin Newt, a little unfairly maybe. And Harvey in trouble. Take the free kick for St Kilda and they were a bit lucky there. I think he's okay. Fitzgerald would have been off and running. Flanagan making position. Marks. Away to Greg. Greg runs past a very tired Talbot and kicks it straight to the centre. Oh, oh it was a mark. And low hits the post and justice prevails. Now that was an extraordinary decision because Foster clearly had the ball in his hands. And Stewie Lowe, split seconds later, came in and knocked the ball out of his hands. The umpire, unbelievably called play on. Campbell kicks it into the far side. Wind has made good position and takes a great mark in front of Flanagan. Away to Atkins. Puts Gray up towards half forward. Good contesting work there by Grant. And he still works very hard. Chance for Smith. Back to Kellett. Now Kellett. Receiving from Corcoran. Now Smith. Smith's kick to full forward. Hawkins can't mark. This time, Keller punches. Burke run down. Great play by Collinue. Corcoran. Shot oh. for goal. No one home. High, wide, and very, very unhandsome. Morris marks in the back pocket. Would have taken a great player, but he did have Hawkins to the left and uh, had another option. Charles wind over the back. Grant caught by Chris Grant. Wine gets a quick kick away, but uh, unfortunately to Frawley. They're being besieged, the Saints, at the moment. Crawley goes out and kicks it out. Is it going to go all the way? No, it just bounces in. They look a bit untidy at the moment, don't they, the Saints? A little bit of panic for a the first time. And 
Footscray really gathering. I thought they were scoring through counter-punching early in this turn, but now they're getting it through weight of numbers and weight of play. You just get the feeling that they're on top, not only on the scoreboard. Atkins, run the ground, Newport just held it up pretty well to Craven. Still the wet wards of boundary line. Was that out? Looked like it, didn't it? Still in play. Oh, well played, Greg. He's been very good for most of the day. Gets around Baxter to Harvey, who's been another good player, to Winmark. They're trying to set it up, the Saints. High ball, not a good kick. A couple of opportunities here for Footscray to thump it away. Fleck, uh, Clark, rather, caught by McPherson was a good one. And good now defense. Wallace. Brilliant defence by Footscray. They just kept two and three at the footy all the time there with perseverance. And they've got the ball down towards half forward where Charles, under a little bit of pressure, gets his kick away. Peakin, good pressure, Smith. Now Frawley made clear for St Kilda. Short pass, took a bit of a risk, but gave it to Morris. Morris nearly went for Harvey, but got through. And now kicks it up towards centre-half forward. Martin contest there, Wine punches it away. Must go harder, Stephen Clark. Stephen Wallace and Tim Allen. Allen's got the footy. Goes back to Flanagan. Flanagan's going to be caught. Good harassing work by Footscray. And St Kilda's efforts frustrated at left half forward. The numbers to the contest giving St Kilda no free reign to just run into that forward line and find Tony Lockett. Wine has been excellent all day to Wallace, to Hunter. High ball to centre wing. Coleman goes early. Morris with him. Morris goes to ground. Ducks gets caught. Grant did a good job not to get him high. That was an interesting one, wasn't it? A bit different. What's your decision there? Here's Harvey. Caught. Gets around, shrugs it off. Hard ball for Craven. Well played, Atkins. And Liberatore squeezes the handball. Now to Baxter. Drop punt. It's a goal. No, it missed. It was home all the way in the run. And that <laughs> would have made it tough. 11 8 to 6 16. In the run. Oh, yeah, you can as though we're just over the road in Flemington, Brucey. Oh, I love going there too, don't <laughs> I'll you? I bet Robbo? you do. My word, a great spot. <laughs> Devonport's kick into half back, no mark taken. Liberatore, chance for Coleman. He's caught by Greg, and the relevant handball goes away to Craven. Two bounces up towards the centre. Kicks the centre half forward, little push out. No mark, the kick must have been touched off the boot. Away go Footspray, Hunter and Liberatore. Liberatore near the centre. Kicks wide, McPherson's on his own. Could have gone on half an hour ago, Steve. It elects to go for the long bomb. It slips off the side of his boot. No mark taken in the right forward pocket. Smith, lovely kick by Smith. Here's a goal! What a kick! <laughs> Second goal to Rowan Smith, but who cares about the first one? <laughs> huh? I don't think anybody would be worried about the first one, Bernie. That was just unbelievable. That was a magnificent kick. Kick wasn't it? Uh, around his body from the wrong side of the ground. And Rowan Smith has got two goals in this uh, third quarter. He started off on the back line. And Footscray, six goals for the turn. 80 to 52. It's been a magnificent quarter by Footscray. They have excited and ignited their fans. Winmark. St Kilda really want one before uh, three quarter time. Foster against Lowe. The handball comes out from Hunter, who's been very good since he's been on. McPherson's lifted. Corcoran. Footscray with a real roll. Hawkins at the back. But Grant takes the mark. It's a good kick to Grant. We'll give him a chance from here. Oh, that was a great mark. It was a great mark. Chris Grant, he just threw himself at the ball, similar to the player he's playing in. Uh, David Grant, he will be a chance. From 52 metres out, drop punt. Just to the side of behind. So 12 9 to 6 16. And to think down the other end that Tony Lockett's kicked one goal seven today and uh, missed another. And how many behinds in this quarter has he kicked? Uh, He's kicked four for the quarter, Bruce. Four for the quarter in the Saints trail. Devonport. Gee, this is confusion everywhere for St Kilda. Frawley's on his own at centre half back, but Devonport now. Goes high, out towards the outer half-back flank. Wind a big punch. Back in towards the centre. The gather by Winmar was good. But he's forced to kick quickly. Only seconds left in the third quarter. Footscray will shut it out here. Foster receiving there from Tui. 
Baxter, they may even score. If they can mark this, and they can because Hawkins, who's played on, hooks the kick into the front of the goals. Mark Grant, goal puts down. There's the siren. The quarter's ended. So at three-quarter time, the Footscray boys are ecstatic. And no wonder, because they kicked seven goals, four in the third quarter, to go in with an advantage at three-quarter time of 35 points. They lead 13-9 to 6-16.